Okay, so now we have example four, a mixture problem that uses a quantity value table to find two missing quantities. Alan blends two types of coffee beans to sell at a price of $8.75 per pound. Colombian coffee beans sell for $8.35 per pound, and Sumatran beans sell for $9.35 per pound. If he wishes to make 300 pounds of blend, how many pounds of each are needed? So just like all the other quantity value tables we've done, we start off by filling in our headers. So the first column is our items, the second will be our quantities, the third our value, and the last will be the Q times the V. So here we have two types of coffee beans. We have Colombian and we have Sumatran. Okay, and then again, this last box here is our total. Okay, so here we need to figure out how many pounds of each we need. So we don't have our quantities yet. So we'll fill that in after we fill in our value. So our values here, our Colombian is $8.35 per pound, so 8.35 and our Sumatran is $9.35, so that's the 9.35. Now our overall total average, what we want to sell the, mi the whole mixed blend of coffee beans, we want to sell it for $8.75 per pound. So this here is going to be our overall total average value, so that's going to go in the last box in the value column. Okay. So now our quantities. We know all together that he wants to do 300 pounds of blend. So that means all the total is going to be 300 pounds of coffee beans. And we have to figure out how many pounds of Colombian, how many pounds of Sumatran. So if we say that the Colombian is X, because we don't know what it is, right? The Sumatran is going to be our total quantity, which is 300, minus how much we have of the Colombian, which is X. Okay, so if you think about it, when you add this, 300 minus X plus X, the X's cancel out, and you end up with just 300. So now we're going to set up and find our equation so that we can solve to find out our X value, which is our Colombian. The whole, how many pounds of Colombian beans, and then once we have that, we can figure out how many Sumatran beans we need. So again, we multiply across, so the x times 8.35 is going to be the 8.35x, and then the, and I always recommend you put parentheses around it when you have, you're adding something here with an unknown, so 300 minus x, this quantity, times the 9 0.35, so that's going to be the 9.35 times 300 minus x in parentheses. And then our total quantity value is going to be 300 times 8.75, which is going to equal the sum of the column, which is the 8.35x plus the 9.35 times the 300 minus x. Okay, so now we have our equation here that we can solve to find out what x is and then we can go back and figure out how many pounds of Colombian and how many pounds of Sumatran beans we need to make our blend. So we'll start off doing our multiplication. So 300 times 8.75 is 2625 and that's equal to the 8 0.35x plus the 9.35 times the 300 is 2805 and then the 9.35 times the minus x is going to be minus 9.35x. Now the first thing we do is we combine our like terms. We have here the 8.35x minus the 9.35x so that's going to give us our 2625 is equal to 2805 
minus x. So now we can solve for x. It's a single step equation. Subtract 2805 from both sides to isolate our variable. We get negative 180 equals negative x. So now to find x, we have to divide by negative 1. So we have x equals 180. So that means we need 180 pounds of Colombian, right? And if x equals 180, that means 300 minus x, or 300 minus 180, is 120. So now we also need 120 pounds of Sumatran. And remember, because it's a word problem, the answer should be in words, right? So now, I want to check my answer just to make sure that I got the right answer. So what do I do? I do the 180 times the $8.35 plus the 120 times the $9.35. And I go ahead and divide that by the total um, pounds of beans that I'm mixing, which is 300, and I see if my average cost per pound is that $8.75. So when I do that, and I punch it in my calculator, I do get 8.75. So my answer checks that my overall average cost is $8.75 per pound, and I'm done. I have my answer.